Okay, so welcome to a tutorial video, and I'm going to be showing you how to import your Minecraft model here into a Blender. And to do this, it, it's quite hard, but well, no mix of hard and easy. There'll be some hard bits and some easy bits, so yeah. But it's, this video is only three minutes long, so it doesn't matter. So here's Blender, and yeah, I'm going to import this model to Blender, and as you can see, it's it's looking pretty nice i i can't see the outer ed area but that's fine so what you're going to do is go on to export and look for one that says export gft model then you go to blender file import and then you look for the gft gft 2.0 is fine that well that's the only one that says gft so when you've done that should load in and there it is but then you can see for some reason there's like a white uh, area the outer edge is showing but the the white area isn't working also you have to press that button at the top there just remember that to see the texture of course so yeah to get rid of this um it does it yeah so the outer edge shows on here but not block bench which makes sense because you got it everything looks better on blender but and that's because all of this is like white still so what you want to do is go ahead and remove that so make it not visible in any way you can i, I chose a very weird difficult way by yeah you, you can obviously tell what i'm doing um i couldn't figure out a way to delete it so i'm doing what what i can so yeah when when you've done all that removed all the white um you can then go ahead and import it to blender So yeah, um, and you can also use the rubber to get like little bits of corners here, as you can see around my snout. Okay, and then when you've done that, you can go to do the same thing, file, export, and then yeah, all that. Just make sure there's no white on your skin still, unless it's part of the skin, of course. Don't accidentally remove whites that is part of your skin. Um, yeah, but my mine's meant to be only pink, so uh, yeah. You can also import to Minimator, or ex I mean export to Minimator here as well. So yeah, uh, but we want to go to back to GFT model, and yeah, do it there. And we can head back to Blender, and here it is. So we to to get rid of uh, to undo and get rid of all this. You can do Control and Z, and it gets rid of all that. So yeah, we go to File, Import, Import this time. Don't press Export, it's Import, GFT 2.0. And when you've done that, you should, hopefully, I'm, there we go. There it is. Okay, so now we've got it imported. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and... Uh, comment down below if you're if you've got any questions and stuff like that. So yeah, bye. Okay, so it's just um, I've just finished uh, making the video, and I just wanted to add this bit in just to show um, because uh, when you've imported it, and you'll probably want to animate it. This isn't a full tutorial on how to animate the actual player, but uh, just a heads up for head heads heads up. Huh? Okay. Um. Anyway, he heads up for moving uh, any body part around. Heads, for probably is the best place to start, right? Anyway, um. Yeah, you can move it around like this, and yeah, just uh, you need to go to here. I don't know why it's called Node Eight Eighteen, but you can rename it by going to here, and oh, maybe I can't. Uh. Uh, anyway, I've just recently found this out, so I'll have to learn more, but, yeah, uh, and, yeah, you can move it around like this, or, uh, uh yeah, so, yeah, uh, this is, uh, bye.